morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. Woo, woo, woo. This is the day that I love because I get to share great stories with you. All righty. Today's great story is called I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Cattrall, and the illustrator is Harcourt and Company, Orlando, Austin, New York, San Diego, Toronto, London. All right, I like myself. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts like that. or naughty knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath, 
or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes, even with spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine, I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. a good one that's called I like myself oh I love that that is true you need to love yourself no matter what you are awesome don't ever forget that don't ever doubt that don't ever think any different you are amazing and I am so proud of each and every one of you I am Miss Beth and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I cannot wait to read you stories next time